Hello everyone, welcome to Quiet Life Homestead. I'm Gina and today we're going to do a little bit of something different. Um, for some of you, you may know that we've had a cat missing for a week, over a week, and um, she came home this morning. We're very, very excited. So it's going to be a lot of cat footage. If you're not into cat footage, just roll on. Um, but just to let you know a little bit of background about these cats, we got them um, this year, so it's been, you know, a few months, I think, since we've had maybe four, four or five months, and we got a mother and daughter pair, and we got them from a barn, um, a woman who had, <clears throat> Lovey had had seven kittens, and uh, Peaches was one of them, and uh, she just couldn't keep all of them. She, she took them one by one to get them spayed and neutered. Um, but she, because they were used to being outside, they actually lived um, with like a donkey and a rooster and a bunch of other animals. And the conditions weren't super great. Um, but Lovey was very loving right off the bat. And she was easy for them to catch um, and put into our kennel that we brought with us. Um, she stayed there. Peaches joined her, but Peaches escaped. She was a little uh, Houdini and jumped somehow. She was in the car. Uh, I guess we didn't have the windows up or something. She ended up wriggling out of the cage. She was in there with, with, Lo with Lovey. <clears throat> and she disappeared, and then they couldn't catch her again. So we brought Lovey home by herself. And Lovey acclimated to the barn for a couple of days, and we were supposed to meet the other owners. Uh, we got Lovey on a win on a Sunday, and then we ended up getting Peaches on a Wednesday. So it was a couple of days where she had already acclimated <clears throat> to our barn, and she was very happy. We have a, a caged-in coop, a barn stall coop, that um, our chicken and her baby chick are in currently. But um, originally, it was uh, used for the cats to acclimate before they got introduced to the chickens and vice versa. So um, Lovey was thinking she had it made. She had all the snuggles, and she had all the food, and she had a sweet, warm bed, and she had a great place to live. Well, we brought Peaches home that Wednesday, and Peaches, like, I mean, Peaches was so vocal, and she was so different. Um than Lovey. And also she was still a kitten and she still is a kitten. Um, she's not a year old yet, but they didn't really know, uh, how old Lovey was that I don't, I think Lovey had just showed up on their, um, property. So, but they, they had papers on peaches. They knew, you know, approximately how old she was and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why this always happens when I start doing a video. Anyway, um, it took a few days. Lovey wasn't into it right away. And Peaches was like, hey, you're my mom. Woo -woo -woo. And Lovey was kind of like, oh, man, I had seven kittens. There was a mean rooster. There was a donkey. There was all kinds of like barnyard animals there that she had to like dodge and sort of she was kind of skittish. But she had let us pet her right away. She was really enjoying, I think, the quiet and the solitude. Of course, we still have chickens and all that. So anyway, there was a warm-up period. Um, but what happened was in this last incident, Peaches went missing for like two or three days. She missed dinners and she missed breakfasts. And that wasn't like her. So... And then Lovey kind of skulked around here and she kind of cried and they were, they were great friends. They, they snuggled together and I have, you know, pictures of them in, in the same chair and they were just everywhere they went, they went together and they were constantly like rubbing up against each other and uh, Lovey was licking her and, you know, all this stuff. Well, when Peaches disappeared, it wasn't very long. She was gone three days and then one day they overlapped um and then lovey went missing and then peaches came home and so um i think peaches was gone a total of three days lovey left on the last day before she came home 
And then she was gone for over a week. And my synopsis or my guess is that she went looking for her. Um, you know, she's got the mothering instinct. She knew that she was missing. But anyway, um, we had given up hope that Lovey was coming home. But here she is home, and I just wanted to give you a couple of uh, rounds of footage. It's going to take a while for them to get used to each other again. So there's a lot of tentative. So when they're getting petted, they don't mind getting petted together. But so far, Peaches is trying to remind Lovey of who she is, but Lovey is not exactly feeling it yet. I think it's getting better. Lovey! Hi! Hi, Lovey! But it seems like, um, you know, Peaches is trying so hard to just be close to her. But it seems like Lovey's been somewhere where maybe she had a lot of animals or... I don't know. She seems very unsure of uh, Peaches. Even though she gave her some sniffs, she <laughs> they're really freaked out by the pool vacuum. Sorry, guys. Oh, see? Yeah. She just... Um, she just needs a minute, and Peaches is wide open, so it's hard to, you know, get back to normal. This is this is day one. We're hoping there'll be improvement, but Peaches just wants to be with her in the worst way, in the worst way. And hopefully, hey, hey, Peaches, get out of there. Get out. Get out of my nurseries. Get out of there. Go, Peaches. Get off there. Your big butt is going to wreck my tomatillo. Hey, get out of there. That is not a litter box. No. No. That is not a place to sit. Get your big butt out of my plants. Peaches, get out of there. Thank you. They do enjoy being back here a little bit. Like, they, they go back into the back. What a stinker. A little stinker. Just hoping to see if I can get some interaction with them. Because Noah was very sad today that all is not back to normal yet. But I think there's some progress being made already in just a little bit of time. And Peaches has been very snuggly. Oh, oh, there was a little rub. Good job, lovey. Good job, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. What? You want some snuggles too? Huh? Oh, it's happening. I think they're going to be okay. Oh my gosh. So sweet. Peaches just wants to be wherever she is. And I know that can be annoying. Especially for mamas. They need a minute. You guys are so sweet when we're sweet. Hi, love, love. Hi, lovey. Hi, peaches. Are you being sweet, too? Are you being sweet? You are being sweet. Oh, look at that. Lovey's coming to you. She's coming to you. That's because she loves you so much. I can't see you guys when you're like snuggled right up. She's like her little shadow. <laughs> Good job, lovey. You're remembering who she is now, aren't you? Lovey. Hi, lovey. Um, Peaches, could you get off the spaghetti squash, baby? Hey. Tell you what, barn cats. We called them up here just so that we could keep an eye on them and also give them some snuggles today. And it's just for my own selfishness. I want to pet Lovey every minute. 
I missed her so much. All right, well, that's the story here at Quiet Life Homestead. We're just going to keep things Ooh, chill. Sorry it's such a crazy video. Um, so this is the most exciting thing that has happened in a week. This lovey's been gone over a week. Um, but we're hoping she's she's home and she's home for good. Uh, we checked her. She seems uninjured. Um, she doesn't have her collar. Um, but the collar was missing, I think, maybe a little before she left. I'm not sure. It's hard to keep track because they have breakaway collars. So they can't keep a collar on to save their lives. Um, I do want to share my shirt because it's funny. It says Avo Gatto. And if you know that Gatto means cat in Spanish, I think that's really funny. Anyway, we'll give you one more shot of the love monster. Here she is. Hi, pretty girl. Her meow is so funny. It's like a squeaky mess. Say hi. Oh my goodness. And there's Peaches nearby. I think Peaches is probably not going to let her out of her sight. But anyway, thanks for uh, watching and for all of you who have had a pet and missed it and rejoiced when it came home it just it just gave me such a a sense of how you know the, the prodigal son was welcomed home and not just like hey welcome home but like they ran the father ran to him and we just like when we heard that she was back we all ran down to the barn and it's just a little picture of how much God loves us and how much he misses us and how much he wants us to come home so we're grateful to have our family back and I just hope that Peaches and Lovey get get back to their normal sweet selves because they're such a huge part of what happens here on the homestead. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today and we'll see you on the next one.